I did it. I made it. Wow. That was a tough haul, but I am here in Siem Reap, Cambodia, one of my favorite countries in the world. There's nothing not to love about this place other than its history. And I feel like that reputation has kind of carried on and people still think it could be a dangerous place. And I assure you, there's no safer country in the world than Cambodia. It's Buddhist. But if you don't know the story, 1975, the Khmer Rouge, led by Pol Pot, came into power. They immediately began executing hundreds of thousands of perceived political opponents. And then it got really dark. Due to a racist emphasis on a pure bloodline, over 2 million people, 25% of the population was killed. It was a terrible, terrible genocide. And anyone who's here in this country that is my age lived through this. 25%, one out of four people killed. Well, anyway, look at this beautiful river. But thankfully, those days are in the past and the people of Cambodia have moved forward and learned from the past and hopefully we all can too. Let's uh, go check this town out. All right, we're gonna try and cross this street without getting killed. Good luck me. Ah. Why not start right here at the market? The beautiful, beautiful market. Let's go in. Now, as you may have noticed, I've already done some shopping today and I have my beautiful, beautiful wow. elephant shirts. See? They know, they love it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Yeah, I have my beautiful elephant shirt that I paid $5 for. And, uh, I mean, you have to admit. Let's see, what direction should we go? Let's go straight. This looks fun. And like I was saying, the people here are extremely friendly. The smiles are just so warming and heartfelt. You can feel it, it's, uh, it's very legit. I need a scarf. Now coming into the food section. And these black eggs baffle me. I've never tried them. I think I've read about them, if I'm not mistaken. They're called Chinese century eggs. Someone comment and correct me, I'd love to know. Here we have some meat. It's kind of winding down since we're in the evening. Lots and lots of meats and dried meats. This appears to be a dead end, or maybe not. We have a, a woman selling all types of different rice. And more meats. Now, like I was saying before, Cambodia, to me, seems very underrated. And if you are outside of the tourist area of Siem Reap, it can be very intimidating, very scary looking. It is an extremely poor country. But if you come to Siem Reap, you can experience every level of comfort. Just posh, nice resorts. And oh, this is the seafood that Vanessa has warned me not to eat, that I will die immediately. Hello. Anyway, you can say it. Nice resorts, you can stay in inexpensive rooms. I'm paying $22 a night for a gorgeous room, walk right out, and you're at the pool. And um, yeah, you could come here and easily spend as low as five, six dollars a night for your room if you wanted to. Let's go this way. And let's go this way. That's a maze as we go deeper deeper in. Hello. Hello. Bath time for somebody. We have a, a lot of people shopping. But you'll notice there's a ton of tourists in this area, mainly because of Angkor Wat, which I'm sure you've heard of. Hello. Hello, how are you? 
Very good, thank you. <laughs> um, which I'm sure you heard of. The first time I came here, I was pleasantly surprised. I thought it was just one, one temple, one wat, but there's actually hundreds of square miles of different temples, different wats as they call them. They're Hindu Buddhist temples and it was part of the Khmer territory. And yeah, you could actually spend a lifetime exploring. There are that many. Let's go this way. And I will say, there is a reason it is considered one of the wonders of the world. And here we have in a great shop with all kinds of beautiful art. <laughs> Hello. And more dried goods and spices. Hello. Let's go back this way. But as I was saying, here in Siem Reap, I always refer to it as the most user-friendly city in Asia. It's a big city, it's well spread out, but the tourist area is pretty compact. And it has everything you need. You can, it has the markets right here. It has night markets. Hello, how are you? It has great restaurants. <laughs> yes, you have a lovely shop. I love your jewelry. It's very beautiful. Restaurants, shops, everything you need right there. You get your ta bamboo tattoo. Oh, I love these. Look at this, beetles. I love that. But anyway, it's a full Asia experience in a nice compact area. It almost feels like a, like Epcot Asia. Hello. I'm not buying anything. I'm doing a video. But you have, these are great. These are beautiful. Yes, you're so handsome too. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> these are beautiful and you're beautiful. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. And now you don't want something? No, uh, maybe later. Okay. Ciao. And here you'll find tourists from all over the world. China, a lot of people from China, a lot of people from Korea. You'll see Westerners, Americans. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Something for you, sir. No, I'm just making a video right now. Maybe later. Maybe later, I will get me a cool scarf. And as you can see, I already have my elephant gear. And not only do they have the markets, do they have the food for the authentic Asian experience, they have the party street. And the party street here is called Pub Street, and it is fun. And uh, yeah, we'll probably stop, have a beer, maybe grab some dinner. And as the sun sets, we'll take you around Pub Street. But for now, let's uh, cut across and go into this old neighborhood right over here. You have tuk-tuks. And just look how cute these buildings are. It is the most user-friendly Asian town I've ever experienced. Yeah, so about five or six years ago, I rode my bicycle across Cambodia. I actually rode from Hanoi to Bangkok. And when I crossed Cambodia, it, uh, yeah, out in the countryside, it's a different world. There's a lot of places, a lot of villages, no electricity, and food is very scarce. They're living on snakes and insects and frogs. It is not a um, very tourist-friendly area. Although, I will be going into it in the next day or two because I love it. But here, like I said, Siem Reap, this is, it's just a modern little village with everything you could possibly want at such an incredibly affordable price. And here we are back at the river and um, we can see all the food stalls starting to set up. There's a night market here every night and it's uh, excellent food. And here we have Looks like a mix. It's just Asian food. It's Korean, I see. We have Thai. We have Cambodian. A lot of Thai dishes here. 
but it's all so good and so many options. And smoothies. A lot of people getting food to go. Different types of soups. Here we have different noodle dishes. The noodles. And it all looks so delicious. And you can see it just goes on and on down there. And then you get your meal. You can come out here, sit next to the river, enjoy yourself. And I'm in a mess right now. It's, I don't know what they're setting up. And if you look, you can see the prices. So beef, rice, egg, $3. $3, $3, rice, sausage, $1.50, everything. Look at all these shrimp, $3. Incredibly inexpensive. Excuse me, sir. Incredibly inexpensive. And good. It's great food. Can I get a Cambodia beer? One more. One, thank you. Yeah, we'll sit and have a beer. Now the money here is so confusing. It's a combination of US dollar, of bots. Thank you. Oh, you know what? I have real. I have real. Yeah. Check it out. Full tabs. Reminds me of my grandpa's beers. But yeah. Next to the river, Buddhist temple behind us. It's a nice evening. Great time to have a beer. Cheers. Now, as I was saying, the money situation can get a little confusing. Hello. Can get a little confusing here. It's uh You can use the Thai bot. You can use Hey buddy, what's up? How are you? you use a Thai bot. You use a Cambodian real and you can use the US dollar. You can use a combination of all three. And sometimes you'll get a change in a combination and uh yeah, it gets a little confusing. interesting to know some of the history behind this temple you can look it up later but it's really cool this little pillar right here beautiful nice place to take a nap very very cool section of the temple we have a bunch of Young monks sweeping. Bunch of good boys waiting to say hello. We even have a kitty. Meow, meow, meow. A kitty on the peacock statue. So this be the living quarters back there. Ow! What's going on? I thought I was a Christian or something. Jeez, don't be silly, dogs. Hello. America. You from here, Cambodia? Cambodia, it's a beautiful country. Love it. Believe it or not, monks aren't always friendly. That's what I found in my travels. I think I was nice. Let's go. It's a functioning Buddhist monastery. Very cool. Enjoying a beer. Craft cocktails, nice little town. Hello, sir, how are you? And uh, these little hallways, little alleyways, but they're just full of just posh, nice, boutique style hotels, restaurants, bars, and uh, very, very kind of upscale vibe to everything, but insanely inexpensive. People are starting to cook up dinner. This area, we have some fish on sticks, and different types of dishes. 
actually do not look very appetizing to me at all. Kind of like they've been sitting there all day. And then we have these different fish and vegetables. Yeah, no, no hate to the people of Cambodia. Oh, I said their food's good. I meant their food when they make other <laughs> ethnicities food, because their food is pretty best style. It really is frogs and snakes and weird fish and uh, insects. And right here, we have some awesome Thai food, which I know they do very well. But for a little extra, you can get yourself some deep fried frog. Usually there's snake on the menu too. Hold on. Thankfully, I'm so pleased with the direction my channel's going that I'm not about to try snake for views, but it's offered just about everywhere. Now that I'm looking for a sign, I can't find it. But here we go, let's continue. So when I say Siem Reap is one of the most user-friendly Asian cities, it's, uh, it does have its seedy element, like a lot of places today should do. And, uh, the Siem Reap is by far very, very family friendly. It's not uh, as in your face as uh, other other countries. And um, yeah, there's a. Uh, it's all here. Don't get me wrong. It's just uh, done a little with a little more taste in class here. Oh, excuse me. There's massages, more fish. Sir, you want a fish massage? I do not want one. I actually considered getting one for a second there for the channel. These people are getting wonderful fish massages. You want a fish massage? No, thank you. That looks way too tickly for me. Here we have a nice 24 hour bar. Let's go have a drink. We're starting to get a little bit of a crowd. The lights are coming on, but the restaurants are still empty. The discos don't have their music going yet, or their lights. The evening's just getting started. It's 5.35. I'll well, grab a dinner and see what this looks like in a bit. Well, there you have it. Bum Street. It's uh, 610. It's going to fill up a lot more. I just don't have the energy. I had a great udon noodle dish. And uh, I'm going to wrap this up. But as you can see, Siem Reap, Cambodia. Nothing scary about it. Very safe. Highly recommend it. You'd have a blast. I mean, look at all the old white people. So every single direction you look. With that said, let's get out of here. Let's get to the countryside. See you there. Ciao.